Oh, hi there, Captain Gujon here, and welcome back to some more Firewatch. Last time, I'm pretty sure some stupid women, not all women are stupid, but these women specifically were quite stupid, cut some, uh, some communication wire, so we no longer have fiber optic broadband, which is obviously a massive problem since Game of Thrones is at its peak right now. And we're currently hunting them down and we're going to murder them. She hasn't said that, but that sounds like the way it might go. Jonesy, Je I'm, I'm sure I've been to Jonesy Lake already, so let's I'm pretty sure I need to loop back to find them and pick up the machete to kill them. Which, again, I'm being optimistic that that happens. Oh, a satchel. Hopefully someone else got them. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. James Franco. Okay. Can't reach. Carabina. Okay, that's a free ship. Well, why can't I... Well, there we go. Free stuff. Brian Goodwin. Guess what, Brian? Loads of free gear. Oh, selfie. Well, I am flush with ropes now. Sweet. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's Good. lucky. I mean, there's, oh. there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. See to use camera. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Uh. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What a beautiful picture. Perfect. Gotta take mementos <laughs> to remember this wonderful experience by. Anyway, oh, yeah, sorry. Brian Goodwin. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Ned. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. <sighs> oh. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. No. Unsurprising. I can understand, because anyway, you are quite so a nice bitch. Have uh, fun with that camera. Ooh. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. <sighs> well, I'm bored as rock, so I'll penis. keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Maybe she wants to see a picture of his dick. Ooh. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, let's have a look. No. Let's have a read, shall we? Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. <laughs> Shit heel. What a great word. It's your man Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for Ellos, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Ugh. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Well, kind of makes sense that I'm here. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Oh, Ron. You absolute lad. Gonna do some fucking fingering, I imagine. Ooh, what's this? Can I have that? Nope. Fossilized claw? No way. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's bar the fossils now. Right. Oh my god, a rock! I've always wanted a pet rock. So this guy needs to work on his throw. It's disgusting. Okay, that, that cash was pretty shit, to be fair. Ooh, I've been up there. That's why they've ropes there. Retard. Need to find these hey, stupid girls. Sorry about what? snapping at you earlier. Um, Good. I thought about it, and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. Good. So... I'm glad you apologize. Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to I never get attached minds. to anyone who would miss me, but... 
I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. Oh. But you're here. Uh. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? Well, fuck we'll get it. into it. Okay. Well, Not before in it gets the into meantime, her. you yeah. are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Am I going anywhere? Oh my god. Okay, I'm going in, I'm going in the right direction to an extent. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Burn tree. I don't think that's their fault. Unless they started the fires. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm gonna go in this general direction. So lots of I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack. No flapjack. You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your Sweet. foot so he can order his crappy Sweet. martini, Sweet. you've got just the name to use. Let's do it. Wait, oh shit. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful. That's a great insult, actually. The fat people, too. Goddamn Flapjack. Oh. Oh, as if he's used all that fucking row. What a dumb dumb. And oh, no, I haven't. Oh. I'm a dumb dumb. If I think he'd use all that row. Apparently. It looks like a child's legs. I'm pretty sure it's a child. That's the twist. The Shyamalan twist. Actually, you're a kid. Do it. <laughs> Bloody baby feet. <sighs> Can't imagine these these women have come down this way. We, oh. What's through here. I do quite like the detail. I, I'm surprised by how open world it is. Oh. Music. That can only mean one thing. Drunk teenagers. What does she have? Oh god, not this. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Alzheimer's? Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Quite. What was it like when you guys found out? None of your business, really. Devastating, especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah, I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Not too much fun though, please. My girlfriend has Alzheimer's. Wife, sorry. To, to reflect, not to have fun. Why? Yeah, I'm sure this is the right way. It's a lot more emotional than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be sort of running around, putting out fires, but it's, it's really nothing to do with that at all. Who knew? I didn't. And that's why I'm telling you. Am I going the right way? I get this feeling that I'm probably not. Nope. Ah, oh, fuck out.
Right, hopefully I'm back on track now because I definitely went the wrong way there. Oopsie. James Franco. James. He's dead. Not James Franco, not actually James Franco. I just don't know what the guy who was in that movie was in. It was called. So I'm just going to call him. Good old James Franco. I hope he was a developer. Oops. Just behind the rock. Thing. Going in the right direction. I think. But I've been wrong before. No doubt I'll be wrong again. Aha, yes. Follow the water source. So, how'd you meet? She's really cute. She's... We met in a bar. We did meet in a mm, bar. The birthplace of modern romance. Shut up. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> brave, drunk, same thing, really. No. What do I see? What? Oh, a fire. I think I just spotted something. Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke. Yeah. Exciting. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. Oh God, more walking. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Uh, I know where I am. Well, you, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Oh, man, they really help. do not give a shit. in the bush. Right. Help! <sighs> okay. Not a one. So, is it this way? Yes, it is. I'd know these bushes anywhere. Right. I need to get down there. Let's go this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know it's not the most interesting of uh, games to commentate, but I think it's, it's a bit different. Something new. Nothing wrong with that. And I've also not been horribly offensive constantly, just like at intervals. More fucking rocks. More fucking bushes. More fucking grass. At least, they're, at least they're consistent, I suppose. That's the biggest bonus. I've not seen any fires yet, and that's that's kind of the biggest the biggest selling point for me. The, uh, the the fear of death and the burning down of trees. So everyone knows that I like books. Uh, and guess how books are made? Trees. That's right. Like you're playing Dora the Explorer. <gasps> Ooh, a crate. Oh, man. Look at that shit. Totally worth... Totally worth spending a fortune to get all these pictures developed. I'm hoping the twist will be that they actually send you the camera in the game. In the post. I'm hopeful. Unrealistic, but hopeful. I think it's probably the best way of putting that. Oh. It's a good job I was listening. Nice. Missing person. Read. Mitch Michaels. Man with two first names. Old. Tall. Medium build. Michael, 81. What year is this? I don't know what year this is. So, there's someone missing. So, we find them. To tell someone, I suppose. Let's have some information from the map. What other treats have we got? 
pine cones now. Fuck off. Fuck off. You don't belong in a box. More pine cones. Well, not a fucking let down. Lush woods. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Lush. Oh, you must be word. talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, so I think murky. that's where I am. It's like Slender Man. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Whoa. I didn't. One yeah, root. they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, that's even through amazing. fire. Can you believe you yeah, actually can get to learn shit. all of these amazing things? No. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. You are absolutely right. Wow. Here come the fields. Never known a game would be so peaceful. Smoke anywhere. This way. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Uh. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a teen job zone. this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, Can we open really? one? And where's that? Is that allowed? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Put that out, you pricks. Teen magazine. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. Ha, huh, sexy. What? On Earth, are you? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here—a full case. Can I? Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. I'll that take is some it. dedication. I'll partake. I'd like to partake in a beer, please. What? Do these people just not like wearing clothes? Oh, hello. A note. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them how you creeped on us in the lake. Nobody tells on me. Nobody survives, generally. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. No, it's not. It's natural. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick well that's just rude i'll keep that wank over that later what's going on oh they're gone for sure well what's it say uh i need to call the police because they think i attacked them oh my god well uh, did you <laughs> um I didn't do anything to them. Yeah, well, that's lie. Looks like someone had it out for him. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Oh, yeah, because hey, I, I didn't don't. do this. I believe you. <laughs> so stupid. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be Public having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'd love a quiet summer. Day three. Exciting. As if I'm having to do this shit. Fucking ridiculous. What we got? Put the books on the shelf. Nice. Good toss. Hey, Henry. Yeah. 
Um, what do you look like? None of your fucking Why business. Are you because I'm horribly superficial. I thought you might be. I could hear it in your voice. Well, like Bert, I get yeah. confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's uh. see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. Yeah. And if that's shorts, go. then what do you normally like to wear? You should probably listen to what she's saying. Um, tuxedos, tuxedos as often yeah. as possible. Yep. Oh, really? Sounds about right. You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Um, well, I have a pretty thick, thick beard. Thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Since birth. All right, perfect. Kind of itchy coming I wanna out. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? She's drawing me. Okay? I'm throwing things out uh, of a window. Uh, don't, don't life. answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, they look it. tired. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age, and you just you think you're a younger person who just looks <laughs> tired all oh, the time. God. I shouldn't be allowed to play again. Oh, speak for yourself, Mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You you're welcome. Need. Absolutely. Nope. Wrecking the joint. Good talk. I'm glad we had that chat. Let's go back outside. Who threw all these things here? Oh, yeah. Well, I think I barred this up. I don't know. Do I have a task at hand, or am I just sort of, sort of dicking about? I don't think I have anything to do right now, so seems like a pretty good point to end this video. If you've liked this shit, like this shit, share, subscribe, do what you gotta do. And until next time, Captain Goujon, out.